would like now to call upon from the Montreal Torah Center, Rabbi Moshe Niu, Baruch Hashem, we had the honor uh, many, many times to have an art school. And um, I invite now to speak a few words, Baruch Hashem, Rabbi Niu. Friends, I don't believe we'll ever have an answer to why or even how the Holocaust could have occurred. But there's one valid question that does have an answer. And that question is, what do we do? What is our response? What's the lesson that we must learn? You know, friends, at the end of the war, when Germany was losing on all fronts, particularly the Russian front, where every bullet was necessary for the war effort, every soldier, every truck, yet the war against the Jews only intensified. Entire squadrons would be sent out to seek one Jew in hiding in an attic or in a barn or in a pit. To say they hated us is beyond hatred. Hatred is a kind of emotion. It transcends. It transcends all definition and logic. We were persecuted because, because we existed. There was no reason, because we were. And it was worth every effort for them to discover and destroy one single Jew. German mothers would read to their children a serialized bedtime story published in the Sturmer, the German official newspaper. The story was, and the message was, a Jew is like a poison mushroom. One Jew can destroy, like one poison mushroom can destroy an entire field. The message was, one Jew, she tells her infant child, rocking him in the cradle, can destroy an entire Volk, an entire people. So what is our message, friends? Irrational hatred and beyond must elicit irrational love. We must love our fellow Jew irrationally, unconditionally and absolutely, not because of anything, what they do, believe, or don't do, or will do, or did do, but because they are absolute unconditional love and it's worth every effort in the world to reach out and put a smile on one fellow Jew and by extension one fellow human being even once no effort is too great if we can leave today's gathering with this ability to see beyond the surface to see that oneness, to see that spark that we all share equally, to be devoted to each other for no reason other than we are fellow Jews and to extend that to all of humanity, then we will have truly honored, truly honored the victims of the Holocaust who are looking down on us with hope, expectation, prayer, and surely blessing us to be able to live lives worthy of their sacrifice and death and in the full confidence that light always prevails over darkness in the end as we expressed in our prayer moments ago there will be peace eternal peace it will start in Jerusalem in Israel and from there spread to the entire world 
in the final redemption of the coming of Mashiach. May we merit that without delay. Amen. Amen.